I think the thing in tournaments is more so it's the obviously risk of knockout. It's what's on the line for it, and I get that like, the nations that would say that that has like brings in that element, but I don't know. Maybe people just like when you look at the friends is who we usually end up playing. I know we played Brazil. It was still that that's pretty sick. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's sick. We played Brazil. Well, that's that's, then, like, that's I, what I was thinking out of this international break is two big games. Yeah, is in Brazil and Belgium on paper. People should be like, oh, what an international break for England this what an is. International break. Yeah, like I'm excited to watch that. Yeah, so, but it is, it's, it, again, it's just not paid off that way. I think most people I speak to are on, on the same vibe of not really liking international breaks, and I don't feel like that's changed, even though they are two big games. It feels to me like for, for anyone who's interested to watch, any, watches any sort of um, American sports, you know how like, they have all star weekends? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And. You can, like, it's fun, it's a nice idea, like, you know, people rate the All-Star games or whatever, whether it's in basketball or ice hockey or NFL or whatever, Mm -hmm. but you can tell that, like, no one's trying, no one cares, like, it's just very much like an exhibition. No one's, like, no one's putting their body on the line, which then means that the fans actually aren't massively invested themselves. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's nobody's going home and crying if, you know, Team A, All-Star A or Team All-Star B sort of win or lose. It's just, like, whatever. It's a completely neutral kind of game, isn't it, like? And I think it's the same with, like, international friendlies for England, is, like, when you see players not really putting in their all, like, you can tell that, like, you know, players are going, oh, like, if I feel a niggle, I'm coming off because I've got to be good for, you know, like Kyle Walker. Yeah, reserve himself. uh, Reserve themselves, exactly. Like, they're trying not to go heavy on challenges mm -hmm. because they don't want to injure themselves or others ahead of big friendlies. Stuff like last night, Jude Bellingham getting subbed off at, like, the 60-minute mark. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's England versus Brazil at Wembley. And you're taking off, you know, one one, one of the star players because it's just kind of like, oh, like, needs the rest. It's like, Okay, well, if if the players and if England and if international teams and if international managers and the whole sort of organisations are are gonna sort of run it at like a forty percent capacity, yeah. then like you can't expect fans to be any more excited. The, than the fans, that. the fans will be capped at that. Like it, that affects if they're if they're willing to not half ass it, but if they're willing to take. You know what I mean, they're, if, if they're not putting their all out for them games. Fans aren't going to match that. They're not going to go all in for it. They're not going to get as excited for it because we as fans know that this isn't. This is it's just, it's just a normal game where yeah, he could pick any side. He could pick a completely changed side. You don't really know like what you're going to see when you're going to go to them games. Yeah, and that brings me back to sort of that whole First Nations League. Because I remember we had one game. I can't remember if it was like because I can't really remember the format to be honest of the Nations League, but I think it was maybe like the last game in the group stage, and it was against Spain and. Maybe there was like that, there was some meat on the bone in terms of qualification or getting through to a next round or something. I remember because Sterling scored two goals, but that game was like so beefy. Like everyone was putting hyped up for it. I yeah. don't know if you remember, but Eric Dyer like made this tackle in Spain's box against um, Sergio Ramos, and it was like an absolute just like crunching tackle. Pure Brexit tackle. <laughs> pure, pure Brexit tackle. <laughs> And again, like, technically it was all, like, kind of friendly, like, not major tournament. But because it was like they were playing for something, there was, like, a little yeah, bit of, yeah. I don't know, it gets us top of the group or it gets us through to the next round. All of a sudden they put a bit more in. So it's like the Nations League can up it or things like that can up it. I just mm-hmm. don't know what UEFA are sort of doing with it. It feels sort of half-cooked at the moment. Yeah, I think, obviously, for us as well, like, as like fans of England, we don't play the greatest of football either, so... If we played some really nice football, I think, like, fans over here, I think we get excited for internationals to get to see England play some nice football. We don't really see us play nice football, so... Yeah, but that's... The, it, it's just as odd, isn't it? Because, like, you sort of said in your your opening statement of, of the question, sort of, when I asked you, I'm not, like, a big England fan. Like, we all are when it comes to international tournaments. Oh, without, yeah, yeah. Die hard, but... Like, I'm getting a British Bulldog tattooed on my forearm, taking my shirt off, getting down the pub at 10am, like, when it's a yeah. tournament. I'm hey, literally... I, I, I've, got a, I've got the Red Cross painted on my body like Wayne Rooney yeah. in that uh, yeah. in that FIFA game, whatever it was. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it is fully coming home. I'm on the train, like, yeah. every single Instagram story is me in a beer garden, like, getting way too boozy on a Tuesday. Absolutely. So, like, the whole nation unites at that. So, yeah. it's like, for one month every two years... 
it completely takes over the nation and we're all huge fans, but then just like international breaks, com- could not be less interested, don't really care. Yeah, I just, mad, I, I don't see a way that they'll ever replicate that either. Like that, to, because that well, togetherness no, as well. Complete that's, replication. No, no, of course, but I mean, just even just something to bring a bit of excitement yeah. into it. Like, because even in, I think, it, I think what it is, because it's in between the Premier League season, people just want Prem football at this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you're, when you're in the thick of it, and then you go, oh, an international break, like, oh, fuck's sake. Well, you think of international football and you think of summer football, don't you? Yeah. You think of like... That's where you want to be watching. When it. I think of England, I think of like beer gardens. Beer I gardens. think of like 25 degrees, short, yeah, yeah. England shirt on. That's exactly it. That's that's the yeah. vibe that you want when you're watching England games. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Well, 